Today on Learning Firearms, we're reviewing some hand tools from Magnumatic Defense. Hello, this is Dave from the Learning Firearms Channel. And today we're reviewing a couple of tools from Magnumatic Defense. In particular, the Precision Steel Screwdriver, as well as the Precision Steel Dead Blow Gunsmith's Hammer. Now, those that know me know that I like quality tools, and I'm a firm believer of a buy once, cry once philosophy. So if you buy a quality tool, that's an investment. That tool will last a long time and it will deliver, if it's a quality tool indeed. I love when I get to work with quality stuff. And I came across a while ago some tools from Magnumatic. And their first tool that I was familiar with was their hammer. And then they also do have this screwdriver. And I'm a big believer in using the hex, you know, bit keys with your various screwdrivers, just because it's a lot easier than, uh, you know, having multiple drivers and things like that. So you can just have some good high quality bits. Plus those bits could work with torque tools and things like that. As with all of our reviews, I like to give you the bottom line up front. Bottom line up front, when it comes to the hammer and the screwdriver, they are absolutely rock solid quality tools. They have a good heft to them. They're made in America, uh, limited lifetime warranty, solid, solid stuff. I have no hesitations recommending these tools. In the interest of disclosure, I did buy both of these tools. However, we did receive a discount because of our industry status. We got uh, basically like dealer cost uh, on these tools, but we purchased them and there was no promise or guarantee of a review or anything like that. I kind of made an inquiry as if we were, you know, a dealer industry and then kind of said, this is what we plan on doing with them. So I've been using these tools for a few months now in the shop and uh, all in all, I really like them. So let's talk about the screwdriver first. Basically what they take is one piece of stock and then they machine it down in a lathe. And this screwdriver is very hefty. Uh, the knurling is, I wouldn't call it aggressive, but it, it's nice, definitely gives you a good grip, but it's not gonna rip you know, your skin or anything like that, so it's not that aggressive. So it's a pretty fine knurling, but it allows you to get a good purchase on the handle. And then the machining on it is absolutely beautiful. You know, how they're <laughs> machining it just makes a really good looking screwdriver. And then to top it off, it's finished with a nice nickel finish. So it has some corrosion resistance, um, easy to clean up, grime, things like that. Now, what's really cool about this is it takes all of your quarter inch hex bits, of course. So no secret there, but as you just saw, and you probably saw me before, it's, it's kind of tough to pull the bit out. There's about a four pound magnet inside here that is actually holding that bit in place. So it, it has a positive purchase and grasp on that bit. I mean, you could, you know, shake, you can do whatever, and that bit is not going anywhere. And like I said, in fact, you have to make sure you have a good grip on it to remove it. So it definitely holds the bit really solid. Now, what's also great about this is on the back side of the driver, it has a Delrin cap. So if you needed to, because there is enough heft here, I'll put the weight and the technical uh, details in a, in a uh, title below, but the Delrin cap offers a light striking surface. So if you had to, well, let's say you're, you know, had to knock out a pin or something first and then use a screwdriver or whatever it might be, you do have the option to use this as a light hammer. It's not gonna replace a hammer, but with that Delrin cap there. And then if we loosen this Delrin cap, it does come with four bits, which I don't have handy, but it does come with three slotted bits and a Phillips bit. Uh, in the gunsmithing world, mostly we use hex, torques, things like that. So again, I don't have those bits handy, but they are good quality bits. But you can store bits inside here. You could store you know, other common bits that you might be wanting to use. But all in all, uh, a very, very nice screwdriver. You can tell it's a quality product. This retails for $35 on their webpage, $34.99. We'll put a link in the description below. But what I like about it is because it has some heft you know, if we were gonna tighten up the base of this aim point, you know, and we wanted to actually apply a decent amount of torque, because the tool is pretty well made, I can, you know, do my fine or speed fastening here, but then when I actually wanna to get to a tighter torque, you actually have a good purchase on it, so you can apply a lot of torque, versus like some of the other nylon or plastic screwdrivers where they're just kind of molded. It's, 
uh, really tough to get a good grip, especially if your hands were sweaty or you know whatever, uh, there's some oil. This allows you to get a nice purchase. So really nice with that. Now one concern I did have looking at you know the the shape of the screwdriver, I was kind of concerned if this you know bell curve area would allow it to reach inside the hollow of a grip. So let me just change bits here to the proper one. You know, I was nervous that it might hit or whatever, but with the bit, and we're engaged in the bit, you can see, you know, you can tighten and loosen your grip screw no problem. And in fact, you can apply a good amount of torque if you wanted to uh, because you can get that good purchase. So it works just fine for pretty much everything I've used it for. I haven't had the need to uh, wish it was deeper or have an extension. And like I said, the one concern I had was the hollow of a grip for an AR, which is a common task for a screwdriver. So I really do like the screwdriver. It's uh, heavy, uh, it's a good weight, no problems at all, you know, detecting that it's a quality made tool. It's obvious as soon as you pick it up. So let's uh, shift gears and let's talk about the hammer. A hammer is going to be used for so many different tasks, whether it be precision work where you're maybe just using some delicate uh, pins or roll pins or things like that where you're not necessarily needing a lot of force, or it could be used for some stubborn, you know, high energy tasks like maybe some, you know, stuck gas block pins or something like that. So having a quality hammer uh, for the gunsmithing world is Again, it is critical to have a good quality hammer because of the range that we ask our hammers to perform in. Again, everything from you know real precise amount of light force all the way to more heavy force. And this hammer delivers. Uh, I've used several other hammers, but in our world here, we're not using your typical claw hammer or anything like that. We want a hammer that uh, has some variety. Now, again, what I like about this is it is a made in the United States product. It's quality, limited lifetime warranty, of course, on the body. And then it's really cool. They were thinking the actual heads of the hammer, the strike surface are one inch in diameter and they're all O-ring steel, which I'll show you in a moment, but you actually get three of them with the hammer. So we have steel here, which you could use on your, you know, heavier punches, things like that. And I'll demo that in a moment. You do have a non-marring Delrin head here. And as you can see, this has seen some use in the shop, it works great for, you know, if you have to nudge things or, you know, don't want to mar, you're not necessarily using it on a tool. And then I haven't used this end a lot, but it does have a brass end as well. So how these work is basically you just, you know, loosen one and you can see that O-ring seal. And we'll loosen the other ones here. So now we have all three, and again, you can see that O-ring seal, so they are held nice and tight. They're not gonna loosen up as you're using them. I've used this hammer a lot, primarily the steel and the Delrin are the two that I use the most, and they have not backed out or loosened up during use. So now if we look to the body, you can see where the head of the hammer is. You can see it's hollow. Uh, we can see that on camera. There we go. You can see that it's hollow. Now, what they include is this small slug right here. And so now you have the dead blow portion of the hammer. So this slug will just go into the head of the hammer like so, and we'll put the heads of our choice back on, and I'll just put on the uh, Delrin and the steel. And again, they thread up nice and tight, and those O-rings help lock the head right in there. So now if we shake the hammer, you can hear that slug going back and forth. So if you had to want to get a little bit more energy, what's going to happen is as you strike, that slug is just going to give a little bit more energy on your impact. So really a nice idea. If you don't want the slug, you just take off you know, the cap, remove the slug, and then you can actually store it in the handle. So if there's a situation where you don't want that for whatever reason, they include a nice storage space, or you can also store you know, bits or other tools or whatever it might be that you think you might have to use. So maybe if you were throwing this in a field kit, you could have some shorter punches or something like that. So a nice uh, creative storage idea to take advantage of just kind of the shape of the hammer, reduce a little bit of weight, but have a storage compartment as well. This hammer retails for $55.49 on their webpage. And in my opinion, it is worth it. Now, some people are gonna be looking at this saying, you know, that is almost, you know, $55 for a hammer. 
Uh, that is a significant investment. And the reality is good tools aren't cheap. You know, you're buying a quality tool that holds up really well and it uh, just plain works. So let me show you how well it works. Anyone that's ever worked on ARs knows that gas block, uh, whether they be taper pins, straight pins, whatever, can be a very difficult task to perform. And uh, we're just using a punch here. And again, you can see how stubborn the pins are, but it drives them out, no problem. So now we have them started. Now we could continue with a straight punch to finish them, but we've broken the hard part out of the way. And the hammer makes easy work of that. So again, I've been using both of these tools in the shop now for some time. I received these, uh, I wanna say early spring, late winter. And I really wanted to make sure I used them for a good amount of time. Uh, just to kind of get a, a good feel for the tools and have some various shop projects around so I'd have a little bit better background. But these tools are really nice. I really am glad I made the investment. If you're interested in the tools, you can check out their webpage. It's magna-matic-defense.com or you can just uh, Google search for Magnamatic Defense. We'll put a link in the description below. But again, this is the Precision Steel Dead Blow Gunsmith's Hammer and we have the Precision Steel Screwdriver. Good tools, made in America, limited lifetime warranty on the non-wear parts. So basically they're not gonna warranty the, the heads forever. Those are you know considered a perishable or a wear item, but really a high quality tool that I have enjoyed using. And I think you would too, if you're interested in high quality tools. Thank you guys very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this. If you're interested in learning more about us, please check out our Facebook page or webpage. And we have other videos that are, you know, of various topics from firearms, things like that, tools, reviews, how to, things that we think you'd be interested in as a shooter. Please like, share, and subscribe. Whenever you're working with firearms, make sure you're doing so safely. Have a great day.